Hi guys, today we are at Singapore River Canning Hill Piers. Today I'm going to share with you some fun facts that you might have missed out during the VIP preview. Come, let's go! Hey Jack! Hi! Welcome to Canning Hill Piers. Hi! <laughs> So here we are at the Canning Hill Piers model, Atalia. And here is fun fact number one for you. Okay. Okay, so did you realize that there is this metal bridge in the model and even in a lot of pictures? Yes. And what is so special about this bridge? This bridge is called the Odd Bridge. What's so special about Odd Bridge? It is one of the five heritage bridges that's along the Singapore River. Okay. <laughs> And wow. it was constructed in 1886. Wow, older and than me. Yes, <laughs> older than most of us. And well, important thing is because it was named after Sir Henry St. George Odd. That is why the name is called Odd Bridge. I see. So Atalia, are you ready for fun fact yes. number two? <laughs> Let's All go. right. She's getting more energetic than me. And so we are going to talk about fun fact number two, which is Fort Canning Hill. Did you know that before it was named Fort Canning Hill, it was called Governor's Hill? Serious? Yes, and did you know why? Well, because this was where Sir Stamford Raffles actually built his home. And then the rich people, the influential people, as well as the other governors, also built their home on top of this hill. Okay. And that was why it was called Governor's Hill before it was renamed to Fort Canning Hill during World War II. So Atalia, are you ready for fun fact number three? Sure, let's go! Well, many people did not know that there's a reason for this design for all the different blocks. Well, if you're going to zoom in, let me show you something interesting. Did you see that there are some curves and along the blocks itself? So what are these actually depicting? Well, it is just like a veil that's covering the different blocks and it is a lifting up of the veil at different points of the development to show and to review what's inside. Wow. And this is fun fact number three. three. So Atalia, are you ready for the bonus segment? Sure, let's and go. guess what? Did you know that for 25XX per square foot, you can get a beautiful unit here at Canning Hill Piers. 25XX, central location, integrated development, beautiful views. And not just one unit, but many units at 25XX per square foot. Serious? Isn't it great? Yes. All right. Well, now that we have covered the three fun facts, are you ready to go take a look at the show flat, Natalia? Yes. Well, let's go. Hi, man. Hey, how come you're suddenly here? Well, we just jumped into this beautiful unit. Looks like you are relaxing and enjoying yourself in this 2 plus study show flat unit at Canning Hill Pierce. Chill man bro, we are at Kraki. Oh, <laughs> awesome! So if you look at the size of this 2 plus study, it is really huge and spacious. As you can see, once you come in, open kitchen concept, rooms on each side, you have the master on the right where Atalia is standing, and the common room on the left. Come, let's take a look more. The master bedroom for the 2 plus study units at Canning Hill Piers are all big enough to fit a king size bed. Isn't that wonderful after a long day? Indulge yourself in a nice and refreshing time as you take a shower with this rain shower unit that comes with the waterfall component by Jesse. So well, here we are at the four bedroom show unit at Canning Hill Piers, and the size is 1755 square foot. So it is a, one of the popular layouts. Why? Because every room as well as the living area is facing the MBS view, which means fireworks every year. So are you guys ready to take a look? Yes. Come, let's go. So here is the best way to feel how broad the living room is. Have a seat. So you can imagine yourself, after a long day, you have a seat in this living room. Feel the space. Does this feel good for you guys? Yes. Awesome. So let's take a look at the room together, shall we? So here we are at the junior master bedroom. 
a flexible space and a room for your guests who are visiting you or when you have relatives coming over. There's also an attached bathroom for your guests and your relatives. Wow, Jack, I think if I would stay here, this will probably be my mahjong room. Oh, awesome! Come, let's take a look at the other areas within this unit itself. Well, the highlight of this unit is the spacious master bedroom. Well, after a long day, doesn't this feel like a place where you can just come back and indulge in the views as well as the space? Nice, isn't it? And what we like about this room is the ample wardrobe space that you can fill up with your favourite clothes. The wardrobes come with a tempered glass doors as well as motion sensor lights. Well, there's even enough space for a dressing table for your personal needs. After a long day, this would be perfect for you to renew yourself with this hotel style bathroom with the attached bathtub. Well, as the saying goes, a home is incomplete without a wonderful kitchen. Well, the dry kitchen area and there's also a wet kitchen area. First things first, a huge home must have a huge fridge. Double door fridge by Didiatric, fully provided by the developers. And that's not all. Come, let's take a look. And so here we are at the wet kitchen area for you to do your heavy cooking as well as your laundry. And if we take a look at the appliances itself, it is fully fitted with Mille kitchen appliances. And one of the highlights is the wok area for the traditional cooking. Voila! That's all for today guys. So if you like our video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can click on the link below to get more details of this project. See you!